Hello everybody, and welcome to my anime reviews, Scuffling with Maybe, or of course, I'm sorry, I'm late. Fuck you guys, I've been busy with a lot of stuff, getting prepared for stuff, having to render Harvest Mooncraft, writing more scripts to get you guys more content so I know that I'm ready for backups every week. Basically every week, I'll review an anime, uh, a new anime, an old anime, or a new season of an anime, and I'll give you my opinion on it. I never thought I would do this, but after hearing about this last week and having this person yell at me for giving me a bad score, for me giving it a bad score, I've decided to try my best and give this anime's dub a fresh chance. This anime has, I think, the worst score I've ever given an anime, and I never thought I would want to see it again, but I decided to torture myself and review the English dub of Toradora. What have I got myself into? Like usual, I will only be explaining the most important parts of this anime, like the characters, story, setting, relationships, voice acting, animation, music, and the genre, and of course, we're going to start with the genre for those people who are picky, and of course, it is just pure school life and romance, not much else. For the setting, it's mainly their school, but also at the main characters' homes, nowhere else, really. Now for the characters, there are a few characters I should talk about, but I'm only going to talk about about four of them because they are the main characters to me. And first is Ryuji Takasu, who is the main main character of this anime, and is one sad fuck. His father ditched him and his mom at one point in his life, and hates him because he inherited his scary face because of it. And because of it, hey, most uh, most people are afraid of him, even though on the inside he's a very gentle person who cares about others. He gets trampled on very easily by the second main character all the time. Second is Taiga Isaka. Let's get out of the way right now. She's a tsundere, and not the good kind. She's the kind who doesn't get over it, really. She's the kind who doesn't get over it. I, I can't say any more than that. She goes to Ryuji's school and is in the same class and lives right beside him. And she's a very violent and relentless towards Ryuji and always calls him a dog. She does have a sweet side, but it doesn't show up much, honestly. So she's more soon than Dere most of the time. She scares people like crazy with her bad behavior. Third is Minori Kushieda. She is a hyperactive person who is always working and she is the captain of the girls softball team. Ryuji has a large crush on her and she's always hyper and is always persevering to make life chipper. She is also Taiga's best friend. Fourth is Yusuku Kitamura. He is Ryuji's best friend, the vice student council president, and the, his class class's representative. He's also the captain of the boys at softball team. His personality is basically Minori's, except he doesn't work a million jobs because he's too busy with student council. Taiga has a large crush on him. Now for the story, which is very cliche. Taiga tries to put a love note in Kitamura's bag, but accidentally puts it in Ryuji's. After she notices this, she sneaks inside his house in the middle of the night, attacks Yuji, and tries to take back the love note. Ryuji immediately reacts, saying how the envelope was empty when he looked at it anyways. At this point, Taiga figures out Ryuji has a crush on Minori, and Ryuji promises to do what she says if she leaves, leaves and they both keep the secrets, but with the catch that they would help each other get together with the person they like. I'm pretty sure I've seen this in another anime before, probably more than just one. Time for the animations. There weren't any differences between the animations from the English to the Japanese, of course, because they don't change that, but I personally dislike them. Too plain for what I expected from Funimation, nothing really stood out to me. Now let's talk about the voice actors. Oh lord, some of these voice actors are horrible and do not fit their characters. Ryuji's is too nice sounding. Taiga's is too cute sounding. Minori's does not fit her looks at all. But like the English sub review, Kitamura's voice is so much better than everyone else's. If you don't know, it's Ichigo's voice from Bleach. And it's Narukami's voice for Persona 4 the animation. Why is it that Keith Kitamura's voice is the best one again? I don't even- Gotta calm down, gotta calm down. This is just a fucking anime. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Now for the music. The music wasn't that amazing. The first opening was kind of catchy. The second opening was kind of shit. Both endings are poop. And the background music wasn't very memorable. And I didn't really care for it. Now for the rating one of these reviews. As a rating, I'll split up into five different categories. The voice acting, animation, story, characters, and overall enjoyability. Voice acting, 5 out of 20. Out of out of all the four main characters, only one voice actor was very good and fit his character. It's kind of sad when it isn't the, even the main main character. These voices just weren't very good. Animations, 10 out of 20. They weren't very good. They were tolerable. But not good. 
and it's sad because Funimation makes the best anime and this just had bad written all over it. Story is 0 out of 20. I stand by my notion of this story being shit. I understand what the person who commented is saying. I'm not going to state who really who it is. But I understand what she thought of since she thinks the story is good. But honestly, I can point out so many flaws in her points. One, it doesn't teach you what love truly is. When was the last time you heard a story like this in real life? It, unrealistic as hell. No one in their right mind would break into someone's house to get a love letter back. Let alone what happened at the end of this anime never happens in real life. Friends don't happen more than this. Two. It does not show how silly love on TV is. This anime shows exactly how TV shows it. Silly and unrealistic. Three, when was the last time you saw someone get hit by a baseball by accident? Because I have never seen it in my life. This story was not good. It was too cliche. Characters 10 out of 20. Sad thing is, I really wanted to like these characters, but it's sad when I can say that the two side characters, Kitamuri and Minori, were my favorite characters of this anime. It did not like Ryuji or Taiga. Ryuji just let himself get pushed around all the time by Taiga, and it, he made some shitty choices at the end of this anime. Taiga was one hell of a fucking bitch. Too soon for me, BB. Enjoyability, 10 out of 20. I can say that I enjoyed watching the English dub somewhat. It was pretty funny at times, but it still wasn't fun to watch. I was never excited to watch the next episode. I was even putting off watching a lot of it, but I, was, I forced myself to watch it for this review. Overall score, 35 out of 135 percent. I think this is the worst score I've ever given in a review, honestly. If you're gonna watch this, then it's either the English sub for better voices, or English dub for more enjoyability, but overall, you're better off watching something else. In F for this anime, of course, uh, thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to, there's a link to watch it free on Crunchyroll. Note that you can only watch, I think, the first six episodes of the dub online on Crunchyroll for free, other than that you need to be premium, but you can watch all the sub for free, I think. So, yeah, so, I'll see you guys later, Scott from Maybe I'll see you guys next time.